welcome to our third monthly news update. For those not familiar with the format, it's going to be super rough, quick, polished and unedited. But we don't want to spend too much time making these videos. So in the last month we've been working a lot with plastic. Making a lot of new techniques to work with it, to progress it, different kinds of mold making, some bowls, heavy rocky objects and this big sheet press. We have a lot of super interesting stuff going on, but it's super experimental as well. So we're not going to show it to you yet. We're going to do a big launch in October during the Dutch Design Week in Eindhoven. That's our deadline. So mark your agenda. Also, if you happen to have a good big place where we can exhibit our stuff, let us know. Okay, so we've been working a lot with plastic, but we don't have that much plastic waste ourselves. So we needed to scale up our collection and shredding system. We're doing a lot of experiments with plastic around here and uh, but we didn't really get enough waste ourselves to try all these experiments out and um, so we asked the second-hand store uh, to drop their wastes and their leftovers and stuff they get but they can't sell or broken products to send it to us every week to turn it into something else so we just got in like a new batch just two of these buckets full Yeah. Come to my work. The first thing we do is on different types of plastic. So here we have the polypropylene, polyethylene, and, um, and once it is all sorted, we shred it. And uh, before we do that, we separate it on different colors. So we, yeah, the blues with the blues, the green with the greens. And we use this uh, to paint, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah. But first thing is figuring out what types of plastic it is. Now, during all this separating, collecting and shredding, you realize how f***ing annoying it is if a company doesn't put a recycle logo on the bottom of their products. I mean, it's so little effort, but such a big difference at the end life of this product. Just put a logo on there. And as you might have seen on Jerry's overall, we also got precious plastic badges together with some stickers. And these things are precious. You don't easily get them. We're going to send them out to our most active members. In the last three months since we started working on version 3, our team got them pretty big. We are now with six people. We got Mattia, Emil, Matthijs, Jerry and Joey from the Netherlands, Italy and France. And there's a guy coming from Iceland, a girl from Poland and one from Spain. Oh, and if you happen to have a place to sleep for these lovely people in Helmond, like right now, let us know. And we do this thing where everyone cooks a decent lunch after each other. So we got these flavors from all over the world. Some nice couscous with uh, some Dutch uh, cheese, chickpeas and nice peperonata straight from Italy, man. Mm. We really want to cook a decent healthy lunch every day with little waste. <laughs> Designer. <laughs> oh, uh. And I, I love all this food. But we need a kind of a streamlined process because cooking for a big group requires some preparation. And I absolutely hate buying all this small packed plastic wrapped stuff in the supermarket. So we ordered a big amount of bulk bags, dried organic food. Chickpeas, lentils, beans, hazelnuts, all the basics for our lunch. And once a week we go to the market to get a big amount of fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, look at this. Not even a plastic bag, no one! No, actually no. One. You see, see some plastic? <laughs> yeah, we're almost there. Because I do believe it's important to set up your daily routine properly. I mean, that's the thing you do very often. So we got our lunch covered, ready to move forward. I did a presentation in Wiesbaden in Germany. Super enthusiastic crowd. That, that enthusiasm really keeps me motivated. So 
Thank you. And for the Dutch people, VPRO Tegenlicht came to... And I uploaded a new story hopper video called Stop Printing Crap. It's basically a message for everyone with a 3D printer that they shouldn't just print everything they see on the internet because it's a lot of precious plastic material that is being wasted on that junk stuff. So have a look at the video if you haven't seen it yet. I'm still working on the big picture series for Story Hopper with the dark side of data coming soon. It's a heavy video, it takes some time. I wanna finish it next month, but next month we're also heading out to Kenya for a super interesting project. But you will see more about that in next month's video. Okay, so this is all the stuff we've been doing this month. But obviously also a lot of stuff happened in our online community. So here we have community news. Hey, community news. So this month we received a nice package from Rise and Carry in Sri Lanka. They used an injection machine to create some objects. Reuse boxes, I like it. Make this super nice wallet from plastic fused bags. I, I have to say it actually looks pretty amazing. And with the injection machine, they made surf wax port scrapers. So you can use these things to scrape off the wax from your surfboard. Feels super nice with beautiful colors. Thanks for sending rice and carry, super nice. We also had a nice group of students in Hong Kong that are developing the project. It started off building the plastic shredder. And we got this guy, Simon Clark. He's a volunteer in Ahiti. And together with the locals, he's building these machines on a very minimalistic way. I mean, tools and resources are super limited there. And he wrote a nice article about the challenges and problems he's facing and how to improve it next time. So link below as well. And some French students built our machines and recycling plastic and making tiles and stools with it, trying to combine different materials together. It's interesting. And Yvan from Ukraine is still pretty intensively working with his extrusion machine. He was actually one of the first ones to really build the machines and start working with it. And it's always interesting to see how he pushes the boundaries of his machines and tries out new things. Like this onion shaped looking bowl. And Trash Hero in Bali, if you don't know Trash Hero, it's an organization that sets up weekly beach cleanups locally. So people can just come together and clean up the beach. Anyway, they built our shredder machine and are now using it to shred that plastic but also to create awareness of people that they can use all that plastic to create something new. And finally, we're looking into providing a small update for our shredder, trying to get a little bit more efficient and effective to work with. So we started the topic in our forum. So if you have any feedback or suggestions, let us know. So that was April's news update. Thanks for watching. Special thanks for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. I mean, again, Thanks to you guys, we're able to do all these stuff, experiments and tryouts. So really appreciate that. And hope to see you next month. <laughs> <laughs>